he like all things art just watch my channel oh gosh hey everyone thank you for clicking on this video so my name is Diavani and I wanted to do a product review today on cheap color pencils because there are a lot of young artists there are a lot of artists in general who can't afford these very expensive art supplies I'm trying out the leisure art the 80 pencils and stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see my results because I do decide to draw a beautiful picture. Um, you will see it in the thumbnail some. But just stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see what I come up with in my honest review. Um, how many stars I rated and if I recommend you to buy them as well. So I have not shown my face on my channel before. So if you are a returning viewer, hi. And uh like this video leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell so that when i make a video you will be notified and you'll be one of the first to see it so thank you and i hope you enjoy this video all right hey again so i have the leisure arts 80 color pencils um they cost 9.98 i got them from walmart i don't know where else you can buy them but they're fairly inexpensive 80 pencils for only ten dollars that's really really good versus um, something like uh, Prismacolors where you're gonna spend about fourteen dollars for 12 pencils so this just has the different colors and the different swatches on it and the different names of each color one problem that I noticed going in immediately is that the color pencils do not have these names imprinted or engraved onto the pencil they're just blank it's just a plain empty barrel there's nothing on it so you really have no way to identify what pencil you are using unless you go in and personally label them yourself which would take a lot of time um, the next test that I'm doing is I'm sharpening them to see how well they sharpen they're not as bad as like, color pencil have you ever tried to sharpen a oh god Crayola sorry um, they're not as bad as Crayola if you ever try to sharpen a Crayola and a pencil sharpener it just destroys it um, but there is a little resistance and you can see there's like a um, indentation in the wood where I'm sharpening it and some pencils I had to like pull out more than others and you can notice that on here as well but the pencils still are pretty good despite that none of them were so bad that I couldn't sharpen the pencil and throughout my whole coloring process I didn't have one pencil to break on me so a win for me alright so right here I'm just showing you the different barrels and you know have the letters lined up in there and they look pretty good the only one that was a little off center was the white but it really wasn't a big deal still looked really good so i'm going to start doing the shading swatches yeah swatches and you know noticing right off the bat they're not really creamy but they're not really hard either they're not scratchy i've seen reviews where people just say they're really scratchy I, my pack is not scratchy at all but I do know that, notice that there is a lot of filler in it. So that's why you see all those white specks. It's not, col it's not coloring in every little piece of paper. And that little gash right there, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. But um, yeah, some colors swatch better than others. Like particular, the yellow, it, it just goes on like butter. Um, the green is pretty okay too um, but some colors just glide on better than others and I will say that the black is not as black as it should be it's not that pigmented so you're gonna have to look elsewhere for a black maybe a black marker or something to you know make up for the lack in the black that's in the set and also the white so we can't even call this a white this is a colorless blender as you can see it doesn't do anything it 
it, it honestly all it does is blend so if it was a colorless blender then it'd be fine but it's intended to be a white but I'll use it as a blender and as you can see it blends wonderfully so I'm just gonna be quiet and let you just enjoy these swatches So these things actually layer on top of each other very well. They blend very well. No complaints there whatsoever at all. I was able to blend and layer so many times until I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And even I could have went on some. But later on I'm actually going to compare these to the Faber-Castell. And you know I'm just going to say there is a bit of a quality difference. Um, Faber Castell, I, I give them this that the pencils, you know, are, they're just made better, and it covers up more of the whites of the paper with less effort. But these pencils are more vibrant. Um, I know that's that's my opinion. I just don't like Fab Faber Castell period because they're not pigmented enough to me. They come off very ashy, and these are very pigmented, and I think for how much they cost and how many pencils you get and the results that you get from the blending compared to a more expensive pencil I, I don't think you can beat that and I just want to say that I burnished that I didn't burnish this yet and I am going to go in and um, you know apply a little bit more pressure onto it and it's going to start to look a lot like that one you know you don't have to have the most expensive um, art supplies. It's really about your technique and learning how to use what you have, you know, more efficiently for you. You don't have to have hundred dollar color pencils to have a beautiful picture. Now, if you're selling it and you need the light fastness and stuff like that, that's another story. I'm not going there. I, you know, I can't say anything about that. But for looks, you know. I actually like the cheaper pencil better because, like I said, that Faber-Castell is kind of ashy. No matter how hard you press, it's only going to get so intense. So, you know, so that's my opinion. And so far, I really do like these color pencils. And if I need to buy them again, I will, I won't have, I will not hesitate to buy them again.
Um, so I'm almost finished with this picture, but I didn't go into detail because this wasn't a tutorial. But if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I did this, I would not mind doing this again. I, I actually want to do a purple one. So I wouldn't mind. Just leave a comment down below if you want to see more on how I use these color pencils to get this butterfly. But I rate these out of five stars, four stars um, in the tier that they're in. Not setting them next to, you know, an a artist grade color pencil, but for something from Walmart, yeah, go buy you some, go practice with them, and I hope you liked this video, and I hope it was inspirational to you. You know, start where you are. You don't have to go pick up, you know, hundreds of dollars of color pencils. Start where you are. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless.